Hi guys, Lee here at Extreme Car Audio and Boomerad and uh, we've got a couple of project cars in the workshop this week so we decided we'd shoot a little bit of video and we'd actually show you what goes into doing a really high end install. We try and uh, shoot a bit of film while we've got the car in pieces, show you the things that are going into it and what exactly we're going to do. So I'm just going to pop the camera off the tripod now, I'm just going to walk around the car with you a little bit and just show you what we're going to do. So what we have here is an Audi TT. Now uh, this is a really great customer of ours and he's, he's really into his sound. He's got a very high-end concert audio system at home in a listening room and he wanted a similar kind of thing in his car. Now he's done a lot of the work on the car himself with our advice and it's just come in today for the final wiring and for the bits and pieces to be fitted. So I'm just going to walk you through what he's done here on the car. Now a TT is quite a hard car to do because A it's a convertible B, obviously there's not much space behind the seats and there's also not much space in the boot either so this is quite a challenging car so what we've got here is in the doors what Julian the owner has done here is he's applied our, um, our rules on soundproofing here he's soundproofed the inner side of the door he's done the inner skin of the door and also in here he's put high frequency foam as well to deflect the, fo to deflect the air waves on the high frequency speakers inside the car itself we have these miniature Pioneer 8 underneath subs, they're going behind each seat. We're going to have two mid drivers in the doors here, and where we've removed the A pillars up here, we're going to have two tweeters. So we're going to have a fully active three way system in the front. In the back, Julian's built a custom box which is going in here, and you can see this is wadded out. And what this does is in the small box, it fools the subwoofer into thinking it's in a much bigger box, it gives you a much deeper bass response. Second battery, of course. This is the cabling. As you can see, quite a lot. We're using 4mm for every speaker in the car. Stinger RCAs, of course, really high quality RCA leads front to back. As far as the equipment that's going in the car, these are the mid drivers, and these have been custom imported for the vehicle from Germany. And these are the extremely special tweeters. These are weight for weight, more expensive than gold, but they sound absolutely fantastic. And these were custom imported from a manufacturer in Denmark for this car. And the stereo, which we'll see in the final video when it's put back together, is the Pioneer D80 PRS, which is one of two reference stereo systems which Pioneer make. It's their competition systems. Now this here that you'll see here, this is the original A pillar from the car. And what we're doing here is we're fiberglassing in a tweeter pod for those tweeters. Now the reason we're doing that is so that when this is running, we, uh, we put string from both sides of the car to a central point above the gear stick. So both these tweeters are angled at exactly the same point here in the car. So the sound stage is perfectly centered so we can get the most perfect stereo sound possible. So we'll have the tweeters coming in from here, we'll have the mids coming in from here, and then we'll have the mid bases behind the seat here. Ideally I would have preferred to have them under the seat but there's just physically no room in this car to do it. Now in addition to the soundproofing that you've seen on the doors here, you can see that the panels here have also been soundproofed. A little tip for you that I'm just remembering to tell you about, when you're putting cable in through a car, especially when you've got big runs like this, it can be very very hard to do it. So a good way to do this is when you first run in the cable, get the length, pull it out of the car, and then insulation tape it every two or three inches and it keeps it together in one solid run. It makes it much easier to run through the car. This will all come through the back and then you've got your cable lengths here. We'll run one primary cable to the rear battery. This will go to a very solid chassis ground underneath and then the individual positive cables from the battery will run to the amplifiers which we'll show you a little bit later on. So this is where we're up to at the moment, this is sort of day one on the build, we've got um, everything stripped down and most of the wiring done now so we're just getting ready for, uh, for assembly. I'll shoot a little video for you uh, later on and just uh, update you where we're up to once we've got the amp and the stereo out and a few other bits and pieces. We'll speak to you later on, bye bye.